You just walked in my life, you did. Never thought I'd fight my wish. I admit that I want your kiss. Dreamt a thousand times for this. When I see you, you smile at Hello everyone, this is Inspired 2016. We would like to give you a free tarot card reading focusing on your love life and your relationship. This tarot card reading will give you an update of your love life, including your past, your present, and your future uh, relationship card uh, reading. So, the way we laid out the card, we will draw four cards for you. So the first card will represent your past love life and the second card will represent your present conditions of your love life and then the third card will represent your future position of your love life and the last card will represent as a guidance card that represent the direction of your love life will be headed into for the next future. So I hope that you enjoy the reading and if you like the reading just click like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello Taurus, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly love and relationship reading for the week commencing the 27th of March until the 2nd of April 2017. The first card for you is representing the past position of your love life. Your card is the Ace of Pentacles. You might find yourself had started something new in your life. Either starting a new relationship or new job, this card indicates the beginning of new energy and revitalized interest in the material or financial areas of your life. This card may represent the beginning of new investments or the willingness to undertake a new business venture. There is also the possible indication of a legacy or influx of money from an unexpected source. The Ace of Pentacles heralds a feeling of prosperity and abundance and should be accepted joyfully. It is a very positive card in general. The Ace of Pentacles is symbolic of wealth, not just in the financial sense but also in a more holistic sense. You may see new opportunities come your way to generate a new source of income, or you may be lucky enough to receive a financial gift or windfall. On a broader level, this ace indicates abundance in all areas of your life and a general feeling that you are indeed blessed and deserving of everything that comes your way. Operate by the law of attraction, and send out positive energy into the universe so that you may receive abundance in return. The ace of pentacles is about manifestation of your goals, and that you are moving into a more positive state of mind about what you are capable of achieving. Your ideas are ready to be turned into something tangible. Figure out what will work and make it a reality. Thus, the Ace of Pentacles sees you starting to map out how exactly you will achieve your goals, by creating targeted action plans and getting those actions underway. There are opportunities that are becoming available to you that will help you to manifest your goals and realize your inner potential, whilst at the same time generate some level of income and financial support. You are beginning to see that the world is indeed your oyster and that through careful planning, you can manifest your true goals and desires. The Ace of Pentacles can suggest that we need to introduce something new into the equation rather than let things remain as they are, and hope they work themselves out. The Ace of Pentacles suggests you throw something new into the mix. Consider something that is out of character or something you might not ordinarily do, or get around to doing. For instance, 
you might consider joining a club, taking a class to learn new skills or maybe even picking up a couple of books to learn how to build a new business. The second card for you is representing, your present love life. Your card is, the three of pentacles. The message of the three of pentacles is one of encouragement. If you continue to work toward the fulfillment of your dreams and do not allow disillusionment to dampen your enthusiasm, ultimately you will experience prosperity and success in your goals. You need to do work that is satisfying to you and that you can be truly proud of. What new beginnings are you experiencing in the material realm? Is there some project or creative venture you have been putting off because of fear of failure? The Three of Pentacles indicates that dreams can be made real with persistence, determination, and effort. The Three of Pentacles may also suggest that you need help to complete your work and can draw on the knowledge and experience of others. It may be beneficial to share your work with a partner but only if they are as conscientious as you. At the core of the Three of Pentacles is the notion of teamwork and collaboration. In the card, we see a young mason working hard on building part of the cathedral. The two monks enter, with their worldly knowledge and spiritual understanding to bring a new perspective to the mason's work. Even though their backgrounds, experience levels and knowledge is very different, they are able to come together to share their expertise in a way that creates synergy and improved results. There is no as and them or any sense of superiority. Rather, each person has something unique to offer and is willing to learn from others involved in the project. Everyone is getting the job done together and is contributing to the group through effective listening and sharing. This is a positive card to see when teamwork, collaboration and cooperation are required between parties with different levels of experience. The Three of Pentacles also points to the importance of feedback. The Mason is open to listening to the monks and taking on their feedback on his progress so far. His primary goal is to do a great job, and he knows that the monks will be able to help him get there. He does not take it personally but uses their feedback and input to continually improve in his work. Effective Planning Management and organization are also key components of the Three of Pentacles. In order to accomplish significant goals, it is imperative that detailed planning occurs to ensure that all the components are progressing well. This card therefore reflects a time when it is essential to create a detailed plan and to follow a schedule. This is when good project management will pay off. The third card for you is representing, the future of your love life. Your card is, the two of pentacles. You may need to find balance between opposing desires and interests in your current relationship. Life will always be uncertain, yet if you can produce balance and harmony among all the demands upon you, you will ultimately live happily and in prosperity. Thus. The Two of Pentacles serves as a reminder to remain alert, agile and patient as you attempt to juggle your family, your friends, work, finances, health and new challenges. You need to be very clear on your priorities and where you want to invest your time and energy. There is a tendency to be distracted by day-to-day -day affairs and general busyness. So prioritizing your activities and carefully managing your time is essential. The Two of Pentacles brings you back down to earth and reminds you to not only focus on your broader life goals but to also make sure your day-to-day -day affairs are in order. This is a card of good time management and financial management, ensuring that your bills are paid on time, that you keep a record of all your appointments and daily commitments etc. It may sound tedious having to focus your attention on these more mundane issues but this card reminds you that sometimes getting on top of your daily affairs is as important as pursuing your broader life goals. Sometimes, 
a two of pentacles can indicate that there are problems and difficulties in the future. There may be obstacles erected which hinder the attainment of what you wish to pursue or obtain in life. The situation may cause undue worry and again, you will be required to juggle your priorities and manage your time effectively to stay on top of the situation. Similarly, the two of pentacles predicts change. You need to be able to cope with change, remaining flexible and adaptable in your approach. Rather than putting all your eggs in one basket, you may be better to keep two or more things going at once so you have the luxury of choice, should one option fall through. You must stay centered while you stay flexible and keep informed. Look for new possibilities, be open to change and go with the flow as best you can. The last card for you is Guidance for your love life. The Guidance card for you is The Forgiving and Learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. The Romance Angels have heard your desire for great love, and they bring you this card as guidance. They see that your heart can give and receive the bliss of romance by clearing away the cobwebs of the past. The Angels know that you've been hurt before, and that you re wary of being hurt again. Yet your defenses are creating barriers to allowing love into your life. As you heal your past, you want to keep recreating it. After all, you attract into your life the situations and relationships that remind you of what you've already experienced, because that is a primary tool of healing. To change to a healthier relationship pattern, it is necessary to detoxify any old anger blame, or unforgiveness you may be holding. This includes forgiving yourself. If you call upon the angels and ask them to help you release and heal your past, they ll clear away the heaviness so that your heart can soar with happiness. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.